Hey guys, today I am super excited because I am attempting my one puddle split another time, except this time my experiment will be on an 18 by 36 inch canvas. So it's a long rectangle instead of like a smaller one. So the way I'm going to prepare my puddle will have to be different, more like long, you know? And it's for um, a super nice lady who lives in British Columbia. She's a teacher and she really liked the last one that I did. She said, oh my gosh, that's what I want. Um, a bit of the same color. So I'm going again with the blue and the um, gold. And I'm going to have here my white that's going to go underneath. Crazy white mix and the black is for on top. So let me obviously tie my hair up, set my camera up, and I am going for this. Okay. So the white goes down first. This is satin enamels mixed with artist loft. Then the blue. You see what I mean by like how I have to make a long puddle so that when I move it around, I don't have to go so far. <laughs> We're having some fun shapes here, people. I'm gonna keep a little bit. Oh, I almost put it all. I was like in a daze. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna sort of stretch it out now. Paints have to be thin for this technique all puddles basically for me i have two consistencies one is for more like rain pours where i try my best to make it thick and then i have i generally prepare my paints very thin so now this is what i did last time and this created a ring of gold around the cells this technique it's so fascinating. So you see the way the, the paint moves here and how it doesn't move right there? Well, oh, yeah. sorry. That's just because right there the paint is a little bit thicker. So like that's the importance of trying to prepare, uh, to prepare all your paints very, very thin and all the same. Okay, so now for the black. Do I have enough paint on there? God. I'm gonna put a bit more gold right there. There, I'm putting it all. Right away we have the gold reacting. God, it's so pretty. Okay, oh crap. I just wanna look at those form. I can even see some white coming through. <laughs> Isn't it fascinating? I'm not crazy, right? I'm not crazy. This is so damn interesting. Okay, so now the goal is to fill up the whole thing with black. Oh 
Oh my god, am I gonna have enough? Oof, that was not, this is not easy. This size here, very different than the rectangle. reacting so fast <clears throat> I'm just gonna fix the sides here <clears throat> oh, that's very cool now in the 36 by 24 I added a lot of white it was for a dental office but this one the lady said she didn't want as much white as in that one so i'm gonna give this a bit of time and see how i like the composition and maybe maybe add some white or not Okay, so I forgot to put the line of paint through my puddle, like the split part, before moving it around. That's one thing, but I think that the way that the paint was stretched and how it was like fairly hard to cover it all properly, um, I think that, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> uh, I can live with it. I'm really loving this here. Negative space is so important. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there is a lot of gold here. Now, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of uh, satin enamels into my crazy white mix because it's a mix that doesn't contain that much satin enamels and what i want is um a, a big reaction for what i'm about to do so i'm just going to add a bit more in there okay so we're basically like maximum 10 minutes after um after i moved it around so Yep, this is what we call paint reactions, people. Now, I have this incredibly reacting mix here. Hopefully, I did it properly. And you see how the paint is sort of pulling from the edges there and how you can see through it. That's mostly because the paint is very thin. And uh, I'm sort of gonna come in and imprison the painting. There, I'm going with that.
back. This is maybe 45 minutes later, an hour. I don't know how long this took, but uh, it takes longer than on the video, that's for sure. And it is safe to say that this is my new style. First time I got this was by accident. I'm talking about with including the white around it there. And then I attempted a second time, it worked. This is my third time, it worked. Um, not enough time has gone by uh, for the white to push in through the center. But I still want to go in and show you guys the details. <laughs> it's so cool! I'm liking this huge mega blue cell there. And I accidentally... Oh god, it's gone. When I came to pour some white, I accidentally um, went through the paint with the bottom part of my cup. It made a line and I was like, oh man, how am I going to fix that? And I decided to just wait and see because I knew the paint would continue to change and like, you can't even see it anymore. It's right there. <laughs> Whatever. I find that it looks like the paint blooms. Right? Okay, so stay tuned for the dried result. Can't wait to see it, like on which side it's gonna look good. Back with the dried result, I'm showing you the opposite side first. I'm gonna show you on the other side in like two seconds. I just wanted you guys to get a feel of it this way. Oh yeah. This is the right side. It's perfect like this. It also looks good standing up, but this is really the best direction I find for it. Now, oh, the sun is popping up. So you can see as I move the reflection from the black, I did not add any varnish yet. Oddly, my favorite part is that blue thingamajig and the fake crack that's there. Oh my god, I love the fake crack. And it's smooth. There's like, it dried perfectly. And I'm loving the gold against the couch. <laughs> Hope you guys like this. Have a good one.